When a destroyer can force an American aircraft carrier to retreat, what kind of secret weapon does it possess? In August 2025, two gray-white warships quietly joined the Northern Theater Fleet of the Chinese Navy in the misty waters of the Yellow Sea. The Hedza, Huzhou, destroyer, hull number 126, and the Jumadian destroyer, hull number 127, officially joined the destroyer squadron of the North Sea Fleet. These two destroyers, affectionately nicknamed the 052DM class by Chinese military enthusiasts, have a full load displacement of nearly 8,000 tons, an increase of 500 tons over the previous 052DL class, yet they are still simply referred to as 052 destroyers by the Chinese Navy. As indicated on the bronze plaque of the 163 Jiaozhua destroyer, that participated in the Russian Naval Review in 2024. However, it is precisely this modestly named warship, equipped with the 368 Type X band dual face, phase array radar at the top of the main mast, and the YJ 21 hypersonic missiles in the 64 cell vertical launch system at the bow, that has been dubbed the Mini 055 by US Military Observer magazine prompting the Pentagon to admit it is unable to intercept. The YJ-21's terrifying performance has completely rewritten the rules of naval warfare. Its terminal penetration speed exceeds 10 Mach, enabling it to travel from Beijing to Shanghai in just seven minutes. Its 1,500-kilometer range covers the safe zone, beyond the U.S. Navy's 700-kilometer defense perimeter around aircraft carriers. Its wave-riding warhead combined with Chan Zusen's ballistic technology enables serpentine maneuvering at the edge of the atmosphere, reducing the interception success rate of standard 3 sixths missiles to below 5%. Even more deadly is its destructive mechanism when the 800-kilogram warhead strikes the carrier deck at nearly a vertical angle. The kinetic energy alone is equivalent to 1.3 tons of TNT explosive power, sufficient to melt through 20 centimeters of flight deck steel and tear apart the core compartments. During the 2025 South China Sea exercises, four Type 052DM destroyers simulated a simultaneous launch of 32 YJ-21 missiles, paralyzing the simulated Nimitz-class dual carrier task force in just 12 minutes, demonstrating the asymmetric lethality of using missiles to counter ships. Although the Type 052DM's vertical launch system retains 64 cells, its 850mm large caliber hot, Cold Co shelving design achieves perfect compatibility with the YJ-21. Its vertical launch system has undergone hardware optimization and software adaptation, enabling it to accommodate hypersonic missiles traveling at 10 Mach, as well as mixed loads of HQ-16B air defense missiles, YJ-18 anti-ship missiles with a range of 600 kilometers, U-8 rocket-assisted torpedoes, and even land attack cruise missiles. This flexibility enables a single vessel to simultaneously perform air defense, anti-ship, anti-submarine, and land attack missions, making it a true multi-role naval asset. The innovation in radar systems has also disrupted the balance of battlefield awareness. The Type 368 radar does not operate in isolation. It works in conjunction with the newly installed Type 346BS band active phased array radar from the fourth batch. The latter has a detection range 40% greater than the earlier Type 346A, forming a unique dual-frequency anti-stealth system. First, the S-band radar identifies the range of stealth targets at 400 kilometers, then the X-band radar precisely locks onto them, even capturing the moment an F-35 opens its weapons bay. During the 2025 Guahai Sea exercise, two F-35 simulated target drones were simultaneously locked onto a 280 kilometers away. Even after releasing chaff to jam signals and performing 6G maneuvers, they were relentlessly tracked until shot down. In conjunction with the fly swatter meter wave anti-stealth radar retained at the stern, the 052D and weaves a full-spectrum detection network with an identification range for the F-35 increased by 300% compared to previous generations, and scanning speed boosted by sixfold. This integrated sensor-to-strike capability experiences exponential growth in system-level operations. The Combat Command Center of the Hedza class destroyer can simultaneously access data from the KJ-500 early warning aircraft, the Jilin-1 satellite, and friendly ship data links. In April 2025, an F-35C took off from the USS Roosevelt, and completed the satellite detection 052DM tracking fire allocation kill chain within eight minutes. Even more impressive was the East China Sea exercise scenario. The 052DM guided the YJ-21 missile via a drone network to precisely strike a moving target ship from 400 kilometers away, 
This detect and destroy operational rhythm compresses the traditional naval battle's hours-long firepower cycle into just 10 minutes. When coordinated with the 055 destroyer carrying 112 missiles, a 1,000-kilometer radius instantly becomes a no-go zone for aircraft carriers. The ingenious design of the 8,000-ton platform reflects strategic wisdom at every turn. The flight deck has been extended by 2.3 meters, and the hangar has been expanded to accommodate the Z-20 anti-submarine helicopter. Extending the anti-submarine radius to 200 kilometers and completely ending reliance on the Russian-made Ka-28, although the number of vertical launch units remains at 64, the 850mm large-caliber hot, cold co-shelving design offers remarkable compatibility. It can load the HQ-16B with four missiles per launcher, as well as mix and match the YJ-18 anti-ship missile with a range of 600 kilometers the U-8 rocket-assisted torpedo, and even land-attack cruise missiles. The diesel-electric hybrid propulsion system ensures a speed of 30 knots and a range of 4,500 nautical miles. With ocean-going capability far surpassing that of the earlier Type 052D, the industrial secrets behind the mass production miracle are even more daunting to adversaries. Dalian Shipyard employs extreme modular construction technology achieving the remarkable feat of five ships and one dry dock, with a single dry dock's production capacity equaling the total output of all U.S. shipyards over two years. With a cost of only 3.5 billion yuan, it is half the price of the 055 and 70% of the Burke III, yet it achieves 80% of the latter's combat effectiveness. This cost effectiveness stems from the scale of a mature system. Over 50 units of the 346 series radar have been produced, with a vertical launch module standardization rate of 95%, and the construction cycle has been compressed from 36 months to 22 months. While the U.S. Congress debates whether to allocate budget for two Arla Burke II destroyers by 2026, the 4th 052D class destroyer hull on China shipyard, has completed welding its final steel plate. 38 guided missile destroyers have been commissioned over a decade, matching the U.S. Navy's 30-year achievement. The balance of power in the Western Pacific is being tilted by these gray-blue ship silhouettes. Japan's Ministry of Defense has urgently allocated an additional 200 billion yen for missile defense budgets. Australia has restarted the procurement of hunter-class air defense ships that had been shelved for three years, and the U.S.-South Korea military exercises have been forced to include hypersonic defense drills. The deeper impact lies in strategic cost calculations. The cost of a single $13 billion Ford-class aircraft carrier could fund 37 Type 052 DM destroyers, and the U.S. Navy would need to deploy three carrier strike groups to break through the blockade of eight Type 052 DM destroyers in the South China Sea a capability exceeding its standard deployment capacity in the Western Pacific. When the Hudza destroyer transited the Sugaru Strait and used its X-band radar to profile Japanese F-35 fighters, an old sailor touched his medal and sighed, 40 years ago, when we sailed the Type 051 destroyer. The radar couldn't even distinguish between fishing boats, now we can, strip bear, stealth fighters. This change is more drastic than the leap from bicycles to high-speed rail beneath the waves. The ultimate value of the 052DM lies not in its missiles or radar, but in embodying the Chinese Navy's small steps, quick progress philosophy. Since the first ship entered service in 2014, it has undergone four iterations. The first addressed basic capability, the second upgraded close and weapon systems, the third extended the deck to enhance aviation operations, and the fourth integrated dual-frequency radar and hypersonic strike capabilities. Rather than pursuing overwhelming firepower in a single ship, the focus is on affordable incremental upgrades, transforming technological risks into sustained combat capability. This approach has driven the most profound shift in maritime power since the end of the Cold War. As the fifth batch of 052DM destroyers cut through the waves of the Yellow Sea, the deep blue nautical charts now bear not only the wake of the YJ-21 missile but also the future, one that no missile defense system can intercept. A new era of maritime power redefined by cost-effectiveness, innovation, and systemic synergy.